Tonight, 222 political prisoners from Nicaragua aboard this flight, touching down on U.S. soil after the country's leader, Daniel Ortega, decided to set them free. As the plane taxied, the terminal at Washington's Dulles Airport was filled with anticipation. The now freed prisoners greeted with songs of home. Among the crowd, Ariana Gutierrez Pinto, still in shock, waiting for her mother's arrival. My sister gave me a call early in the morning telling me that uh, my mom was on the way, that she could be on the way, uh, but I was very hopeful that she would be on that plane. De 222 personas. Earlier today, a Nicaraguan judge denounced the deportations, calling those released traitors to the country. Good afternoon. The U.S. State Department confirming their release. The Biden administration then sending a plane to retrieve the prisoners. This was a unilateral decision on the part of the government of Nicaragua uh, to release these individuals. We decided that we would be in a position to accept these individuals and to welcome them to uh, the United States. Nicaragua's leader had imprisoned political opponents and others behind 2018 street protests. A story followed here on Top Story. Si están viendo este video es porque he sido incomunicado o capturado. This summer, the Ortega administration arrested several presidential challengers, effectively destroying the opposition and campaigning unopposed. Many of those presidential challengers among the prisoners released today. Agradecer, agradecer a Dios y agradecer a todas las instituciones, todas las personas, todos los abogados, todos los países que han hecho posible este milagro, el milagro de la libertad. Edgar Francisco Parrales Castillo, libertad. The families reading out a list of the names of the prisoners. As each name was read out loud, the same chant, liberty. I was very excited. It was surreal because that has been a form of torture to the family members. Uh, we had heard that before, that they're going to be free. Oh, yeah, you're getting out tomorrow or they are out already, but it, it didn't happen. Uh, now it was different because it was all over the place. The news were all over the place and uh, it was surreal. But amid the celebrations, some uncertainty. Uh, we, we don't know what the logistics are or what the United States have planned for the political prisoners of Nicaragua. And free speech remains a major issue in the country. President Biden hoping today's action could move the needle. Telemundo's Julio Vaquero asked him about it earlier. How did this happen? This is a, a government that your administration had criticized extensively. So are you in conversations with this government? Um, look, they know that we were moving. We believe all political prisoners should be released. Now, whether this is a token of their demonstration that they're ready to begin to change their human rights policies or not remains to be seen. But uh, um, the fact that they were released, we we're happy to receive them, and I'm glad they're out. Such an incredible moment for those dissidents of Nicaragua and those families who have waited so long for their safe release from prison. Ali Rafa joins us now from Washington. Ali, I know the State Department has said this was a unilateral decision, but given the tough crackdown from the Ortega regime in recent years and the volume of prisoners released, was there any trade done in order to guarantee their freedom? Yeah, Tom, well, a senior Biden administration official speaking on the condition of anonymity says the government of Nicaragua decided unilaterally to release these prisoners. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken said in a statement today that the United States facilitated their transport. But all parties involved are stopping short of saying that an actual deal was made here. A State Department spokesperson was repeatedly asked about this at a press conference earlier today and didn't answer that specific question. It's also still unclear. Uh, why Ortega decided to do this now and why so many prisoners were released so quickly and seemingly easily, Tom. You know, these more than 200 Nicaraguans are clearly political refugees. They have a textbook case to seek asylum in this country. Do we know what the future holds for them? Well, Blinken also said in that statement earlier today that right now they're getting the legal and medical support that they need. Uh, and a White House spokesperson is telling me tonight that they've been paroled into the U.S. for two years, which is going to allow them to get work authorizations. They say this isn't a new process. This is just a standard humanitarian parole process. Uh, so all in all, Tom, just a very long awaited happy ending for these hundreds of people. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.